Facebook has now 2 billion monthly users. That's a lot of people, but also a fantastic opportunity to reach out to new customers if you are running a business. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a Facebook page for your business step by step and click by click. Hi everybody, so um, as I said, today we're gonna talk about creating a Facebook business page. The very first thing you need to understand is you need to have a personal profile on Facebook before you can actually create your own business page. And this is because Facebook wants to know who you are and who owns that page. So once you've logged into your uh, personal profile on Facebook, all you need to do is to create your own page and to do that you are going to need to click on the page creation link which sits under the create option in the navigational menu on the left hand side uh, and that's going to take you to the main area where you can create a business page so let's just do that once you're in there you've got multiple options what interests us today is the local business or place so let's select that Okay, so you should uh, now see a form with multiple fields that you need to fill in in order to describe your page, starting with the page name or the name of your business. So uh, for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to pretend that I am a baker and I'm going to call myself bakery for you. The next field is the page category. Obviously, being a bakery, I'm going to search for bakery. Uh, you will see that Facebook offers multiple options here. Try to pick the one that is the most relevant to your business. Street address, pretty straightforward. Country, by default, will be displayed. And then finally, your postcode, which has already kind of been pre-filled partly. And finally, your phone number. Okay. Once you've done all that, you just need to click on Get Started. Well done, so you've created your business page. Obviously, it looks a little bit naked, uh, and we're going to need to cover that in a minute. But the very first thing that you need to do is to unpublish your page. Why? Because it looks pretty poor right now, and if anyone was to access it by chance, um, I don't think that would look very professional. So in order to do that, just go into your settings, the settings of your page right at the top here. Click on the link. Under the General tab, choose Page Visibility and click Edit. Pick the Page Unpublish option and click Save Changes. You will be presented with a pop-up. Just click Next and then take the first box on this one too and click Unpublish. Your page is now unpublished. Okay, it's now time to design your page and add some images in there. And we're going to start with a profile picture. So your profile picture can be anything such as a product that you're selling or a picture of yourself as a business owner. Uh, or you can also add your logo. It's entirely up to you. If you do not have any images available, uh, there's a little trick that you can use. Um, head over to a website called canva.com, which I've got here, and sign up with your Facebook account. And I'm just going to do that right here. And by default, it's going to log me in. And the next step that you need to do is click on the Create a Design button on the left-hand side here. And it's going to come up with a bunch of... Of suggestions but what you need to do first is use specific dimensions and the reason you need to use specific dimension is because your Facebook profile picture needs to be a hundred and eighty pixels by a hundred and eighty pixels so let's type that right in there and click design so what I'm going to do next is choose an image for my profile picture and I'm going to start searching for something in relation to my business. In this example, it's still a bakery. So let's put bakery and see what comes up. Enter. And I've got a uh, bunch of um, suggestions here. You will notice that there are some free pictures and some pro pictures, which means you will have to pay for this. Obviously, I don't want to pay. So... I'm going to use a free one and I'm going to drop that in my canvas. 
my canvas which i will uh, remind you is 180 by 180 so in order to fill up the canvas i will have to stretch my image to the right size there you go and reposition it and the next step is simply simply to download it click on the download button and that will download this in your uh, downloadable folder so all we need to do now is to upload our newly created profile picture to do that simply hover on the little camera icon in the profile picture space you'll see the space becomes grayed out and says change picture click on that you'll have a list of options to choose uh, your picture from uh, we're going to use the upload photo option here is a picture that i have created and it should be the exact right size okay as you can see i do not even need to edit it again i save it and here we have it okay for our next uh, stop we're gonna add a cover picture you just need to follow exactly the same process so i'm not going to repeat what we've just done and i've already created one all you need to do is go to the add a cover option or link right there and click on the little camera icon you can also add a video by the way uh, but obviously today we're just gonna load an image and click on the upload photo video choose your image and load it once again i have made sure that i have created a picture that fits the exact size and just so you know the size for this picture is 828 pixels by 315 so let's save this and we have now a profile picture and a cover photo once your cover photo is loaded hover on it and click here you have the opportunity to add a description to the image as well as a link or anything else a price whatever you want to put in there and i think it's a it's really valuable to add some uh, information here and it would be a shame not to just in case people click on it and you can save that and there you go it gives you an additional opportunity to either redirect people to your website or give them further information okay so the next thing we're going to do is add a button a call to action button on our facebook page why do we want to do that because we want to give the opportunity to our visitors to find out a little bit more about our business or even uh, give them the option to download a newsletter book a service uh, there's all sorts of, of, of things that you can do so right under the cover photo you will see there's the add a button the big blue button here option so click on it and once you've clicked on it you've got a selection of options there's about five of them and all of which have got sub options so if i go through them you can see that under the get in touch there's there's about six options uh, learn more there's about two etc so for the sake of this exercise i'm only going to add one uh, and i'm going to pick the learn more one and here what i want to do is i want people to find out a bit more about my business uh, so if i click on this it's just going to give me the option to add a website link which is what i'm going to do add button so you now have a button on your facebook business page and when people click on the learn more option they will be taken to your website okay so let's move on to the next step uh, which is adding a description a short description on your facebook page as you can see from your page itself there's a couple of tips um, provided by facebook and so you just need to click on them and we're going to start with adding a short description so click on the box and then suddenly there's a little pop-up and all you need to do is fill in the form right here please note there's only 155 characters so make sure you write something quite compelling that will encourage people to look at your page and stick around for a bit longer 
here we go um it's actually a little too long and save that that's it next thing we're going to do is add a website to our page and click on the send people to your website recommendation right here and again all you need to do is enter your website click the save button and you're all done okay we're almost there uh, two more steps to go and this one is all about creating a vanity URL. So what is a vanity URL? A vanity URL is a URL that is easily recognizable and it's great for marketing purposes. As you can see right now, our Facebook page is called a facebook.com slash bakery for you uh, dash and a bunch of numbers. And it is not very practical to remember. So we want to give it something a little bit more user friendly. And that's why it's called vanity URL. So in order to generate a vanity URL, all you need to do is just click on the link that is called create page at username, which is located right under your profile picture right here. This will open a window and you just need to specify what username you want to give to your business page. So my recommendation here is obviously to give it your business name. What you will see next is um, this error message. I am not eligible to create a username. And the reason for that is because I've just literally created my page. Facebook will only let you create a username as soon as you have 25 likes. So my suggestion is as soon as you've finished creating your page, send it to your friends and family, make sure they like it, and you should get uh, the ability to change your username pretty rapidly. Okay, everyone, so the very last step we have to do now is pretty straightforward. Um, all that remains to be done is to publish our page. We've completed everything, so simply go back to the settings, and under the general tab and page visibility, click on the edit, tick the first radio button that says page published and click on save changes. And that's it, your page is now live and kicking. That's it, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have found it useful. Time for you to build your own Facebook business page.